If it's classic country, then you heard it on KSLI. My 1280 Classic Country.
and you're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now, back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome in. As you hear, it's time for Wiley Volleyball, and welcome inside uh, of Cooper Cougar, Jim. Your Wiley Volleyball team, a, a road game, but a road game right here in our own city as we continue to develop, and it's developing, let me tell you, it's developing fast, and that is a rivalry, a true and natural rivalry between now two different high schools in Abilene. We're, of course, talking about Cooper High School and Wiley High School. They're calling it the South Town Showdown. Makes a lot of sense. Not a cross town showdown, but this is the South Town Showdown. That hashtag trending as uh, even uh, we tweeted that. Our company bringing you this game, Bulldogs, live online. If you're new to this broadcast, just happen to be flipping through. Man, you're going to hear an awesome atmosphere tonight as it's the rematch. The second of two volleyball meetings with district stakes and, and a just large amount riding on each and every game. These are not non-district. These these count so much towards playoffs and distancing yourselves in the standings. But uh, our Twitter, Bulldogs Live Online, we are on the we got the social media covered. You can follow us on Twitter and if we're Bulldogs Live Online, so our handle is at BDOG live online so follow us you can tweet at us right there at b dogs live online send out the first tweet when we got to cougar gym it's right there and with that hashtag hashtag south town showdown and there's a lot on the line not just of bragging rights in the city because wiley these uh, these girls would love to know that they beat cooper both times that would be big, but also even more than that, even more than having that, that sweep over your South Town rival, third place is up for grabs tonight versus fourth place. Both of these teams have clinched. They are going to the postseason, to the 5A volleyball playoffs, so the first season for Wiley Volleyball as a Class 5A team. They're going to the postseason, but they want to go as high a seed as possible because... The other district that uh, Wiley's district is matching up with, Wiley and Cooper are about to play a District 4 5A, again 5A, but District number 4 5A. And the way the first round of the playoffs go is just the uh, adjoining district face off against each other. So 1 5A plays 2 5A, and for Wiley, that means as Wiley a 4 5A, they're going to match up with 3. 3 5A going to play 4 5A in that first round. That by district round, the champion, the district champ of that other district is Canyon Randall. And uh, Canyon Randall's volleyball team is ranked number one in the state in Class 5A volleyball. Undefeated, have not been beat. So you, you don't really want to play them, <laughs> naturally. You want to, and that's who uh, the fourth place team, the fourth place finisher out of this district, whether it's Wiley or Cooper, is going to have to draw right off the bat number one ranked Canyon Randall. And uh, the other one, no cakewalk, certainly the second place team. They already know the two, the top two teams from that district is Amarillo, Amarillo High. And they're also very good. They're ranked uh, as well in the uh, top 25, but number 15. And that's a, a, a big deal, of course because Amarillo High has also been beat. And even though they've got a ton of tradition, Amarillo plays incredible volleyball. A lot of those panhandle schools, the panhandle really good at girls volleyball and girls basketball. Just don't mess around with the panhandle. But that is, uh, there's a big difference there because, okay, Amarillo High, Amarillo is ranked number 15 in the state. But Wiley has played teams ranked higher than that in 5A right in their own district. And, of course, we're talking about Wichita Falls Ryder, who Wiley just got done playing this past Friday, lost to Wichita Falls Ryder, and Alito. Both those schools were higher ranked. Now, Alito's actually fallen in the rankings, but at the time, higher ranked. They were in the top 10, as opposed to a number 15, Amarillo High. So it's still a tough draw, regardless, but it's much better. You want to be third. You want to play Amarillo High in that first round, because you at least got a chance in that one. I just don't think either of these two teams... Wiley or Cooper. I mean, it's going to be decided on the court, but I would, I'd highly doubt that Wiley or Cooper could hang with number one, Canyon Randall. So that is huge. And so what happens now is, uh, here, let me lay it out for you. Here's your district standings because Wiley is currently in 
third place right now and up one game on Cooper. Cooper's in fourth. But notice I said one game. There is no separation in the standings in the sense that uh, a win by Cooper and the two teams would be tied. The, the records, in case you're wondering, Wiley is three and four in district. You're only going to play eight, eight district games. The Wiley's record after seven is three and four. Cooper comes in two and five. But again, that's connected in the standings, meaning Cooper knocks off Wiley. Then they're both three and five. Wiley loses. The three and four becomes three and five. Cooper finishes at three and five as well in district. And then no one holds the tiebreaker because the first tiebreaker is head to head. And they would have split because Wiley did beat Cooper in the first meeting. But if Cooper knocks Wiley off, then there'd be a, a split. So that is, that's what's on the line. Wiley could uh, potentially still fall to fourth place. Now, if they lose tonight, so they're tied, they would play again, most likely. Now, there's still this scenario that they would just flip a coin, a coin flip to uh, decide the seating. But most likely, if they finish tied, if Wiley loses, at Cougar Gym, and they finished tied for third to decide who's third and who's fourth. They played one more game, now not tonight, but most likely Friday or Saturday of this week, Wiley and Cooper would play again. And now, that would be awesome. It'd be cool to have two Wiley-Cooper volleyball games in one week. And most likely, we, we being our company, Bulldogs Live Online, would put both of those games on. We're about to bring you the game two of the South Mountain Showdown and so, but while that sounds cool, that means Wiley would lose tonight. And I just don't think there's any Wiley volleyball fans that want to see that happen. That uh, There's a ton of them that are here that have made, uh, obviously, the short trip right here in Abilene to Cougar Gym. But there might be some of y'all listening from around the nation. We know there's grandparents in other states listening at BulldogsLiveOnline.com. That's where we're streaming, streaming audio at BulldogsLiveOnline.com. So that's the only thing. While it'd be cool to have two games, that you kind of want Wiley to win. I know I do. We, we hate to call Wiley losses. And the fact that if Wiley wins, they control their own destiny. Just told you, Wiley wins, and they are third. They lock up and clinch, if you will. They clinch the three seed because they'd be four and four. And that would also be cool to know that you finish straight up 500 in a very tough district in 5A your first year. Be nice to be four and four they would drop cooper to two and six if wiley gets the win but again there's a lot to play for naturally and i expect cooper to play incredible tonight sparked by their home crowd here at cougar gym and a lot of students in the chs student section the cooper student section a lot of wiley students as well they did wise. They actually separated them i you said well aren't they on two separate sides of the floor no they're, they're not uh, the, they've done some renovations here at Cougar Gym, AISD. They've made the floor look really nice. The stands have uh, been replaced. They're nice, and it's big. But they uh, they got a big student section, so they put it on Wiley's side. But they make sure the Wiley students who did come, they're on one side, one far side of the stands, and the Cougar Cooper section, or Cooper Cougar, excuse me, is on the other side of the stands. But again, a win for Wiley, and you do not play Canyon Randall. You take your chances with Amarillo High, and you feel much better about your chance to uh, win in the playoffs. Get that first playoff win, and you get that first one. You never know what can build from that. We've seen Wiley now, of course, different class back when Wiley was 3A and 3A became 4A, but we've seen some Wiley teams, maybe even not the ones that uh, you expect in different sports. We know we've seen the teams we expect go on deep runs, but sometimes we've seen Wiley teams just uh, get a win and get it really going. And so that's what we're saying. It's, Wiley knows what time of the year it is. It's almost Halloween, right? It's almost November. You want to be playing your best volleyball come that month and certainly late October because it's, it's almost playoff time. The playoffs start in a week, pretty much one week from tonight. There's always the chance they'd actually start in six days. They could start on Monday as the window for that first playoff game is next Monday or next Tuesday. We're, of course, talking about October 29th or October 30th. It'd be one of those late October days, and Wiley, they're going. But they certainly want to know that they'll be playing Amarillo High rather than, as we said, the team that finishes fourth. And I don't want to say the loser, because I already told you if Wiley loses, it's not necessarily that they do play Canyon Randall. But that is who awaits the fourth-place team is Canyon Randall, and again, Canyon's volleyball team, or Canyon Randall, there's a Canyon high as well, 
that they're ranked number one, have not lost a single volleyball game this season. So I'm excited about this one in the first meeting back in uh, a couple weeks ago in, at Bulldog Gym over on Antley Road. Of course, we're now uh, we're now at Cougar Gym on uh, on sales pretty much. And so then the first meeting, it went the distance being that it went five sets. And it played out uh, it, as the team kind of just exchanged blows, exchanged punches. But it played out that Wiley won game one. Cooper comes back, takes game two. Wiley wins game three. The Lady Coops win game four. And then Wiley in that fifth set did win and five and defeats Cooper in a great, thrilling match. So I'm excited again about this one that's about to head your way. There was just a few festivities, some uh, senior introductions for Co the Cooper Cougars, and uh, that's why we're. I think it was supposed to start at six. We're just a little bit delayed, but not much. This game going to probably head your way oh, in about uh, eight minutes, I bet, when we'll have our first serve. But we'll go ahead and take our break here. In the pregame show, they'll probably have the national anthem, a few introductions, and when we come back out of the break, it'll be time to serve it up in the South Town Showdown. It's the Cooper Lady Cougars and your Wiley Lady Bulldogs, a district matchup about to happen. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Again, we're presented this season by Dr. Pepper. So thank you so much to our friends at Dr. Pepper for presenting this broadcast The Wiley Volleyball. We'll be back with more of the action on 1280 KSLI. Hey there. Hey there. My son's going to help me. Come help me. Yep, it's the copy game. Copy game. I could say anything right now, and he'd repeat he'd it. Repeat like, it. I just love Brussels it's sprouts. Like I just love... Hey. I'm careful what I say around him. I also try to make sure I pass on good energy-saving habits. You should, too. Save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. TogetherWeSave.com. You know, my dad is the coolest. My dad thinks he's funny. A message from your hometown co-op. It's Taylor Electric Cooperative in Merkel. Dr. Pepper presents recording artists Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. When you're growing up, the world tells you to be just like everyone else. But how boring would that be? When I started writing music, I found the best songs I ever wrote were when I was being completely honest. That's why Ryan and I decided to stay independent. We turned down major label deals because we wanted every single thing that had our name on it to be authentically us. The world needs more one-of-a-kind people. Dr. Pepper, always one-of-a-kind. If this is your idea of going to the dentist, it's time for you to make a change. At Borland Family Dentistry, we'll make your smile beautiful and healthy with a simple checkup. Or by using one of the most advanced cosmetic procedures. Let's make your smile something to smile about. Borland Family Dentistry. Two great dentists, one awesome team. Borland Family Dentistry. You'll love your smile again. Now, same day appointments. 695-3300. Is it sprained? Is it strained? Is it fractured? Should I use ice or should I use heat? Wow, do we need a surgeon? Abilene Bone and Joint and Action Sports Medicine has your answer to your questions. Saturday mornings beginning August 8th through football season come for free sports evaluations from 9 until 11 a.m. There's an x-ray and open MRI on site which will speed your diagnosis. Action helps you get back in the action. 1633 Cottonwood, call them at 676-5633. Action, excellence in sports medicine and physical therapy. At AIM Bank, we know your time matters. That's why we offer hometown service paired with big bank convenience. I'm Gary Galbraith, market president for Abilene. At AIM Bank, you'll get quick loan decisions and convenient tools like our mobile banking app. When you open an account with us, you'll get free access to time-saving solutions, including mobile check deposit and over 600 ATMs right here in Texas. AIM Bank, hometown service, big bank convenience. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Hi, this is Trace Michaels, and I can tell you from experience that my child loved going to the dentist. What? My child loved going to the dentist. And the reason why is because he goes to Abilene Pediatric Dental Associates. They are the most trained and equipped people to provide dental care to all children. Abilene Pediatric Dental Associates is the home of Abilene's only board-certified pediatric dentist. If your child doesn't like to go to the dentist, give them a try. Abilene Pediatric Dental Associates. To get on board, call 325-437-437. Five two eight four. Now back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on twelve eighty AM KSLI. 
<laughs> and welcome back. They're introducing the rosters right now. The home team going. That would be the Cooper Lady Cougs here at Cougar Gym on the campus of Cooper High School for this district matchup. And it is the regular season finale. We wrap it up tonight. There's the potential to have that game, that seeding game uh, next uh, this coming Friday or Saturday at the end of this week, should you need it. But if not, this is the end of the regular season. The playoffs will start next week, either next Monday or Tuesday. Quick shout out right now to the Wiley tennis team. The Wiley tennis team is heading to the Region 1-5A tournament after defeating Canyon Randall today. We've got already in our pregame show for volleyball talk about how you don't want to play Canyon Randall in volleyball, but Wiley Tennis played them in the regional quarterfinals today up in Vernon and beat them. And so how about that? They are, of course, the defending state champs for 4A, 4A team tennis, making the jump, and they could they're still alive to so win it all. So there's, I know there's been some struggles in football and, again, volleyball three and four. But one thing that is still elite, still top of the line, top of the class, no matter the class, now Class 5A, but that is Wiley Tennis. Great job for the Wiley Bulldog Tennis team, again, winning and heading to the regional tournament. I think they're going to ask everyone to rise, and people are removing their caps. They're going to be having the national anthem, but we'll take one final break. Come back and have the first serve. Wiley at Cougar Gym. It's the Cooper Lady Cougars. Wiley Lady Bulldogs is up next. Can't wait for it on 1280 KSLI. First Financial opened for business in 1890, so this marks our 125th year serving the people of Texas. Through that time and an ever-changing financial landscape, we've continued to thrive. How? Our customers. We wouldn't be here without you. So thank you for coming to us to help grow your business. Buy a house, save for college, plan for retirement. Thanks to you, after 125 years, we're just getting started. First Financial. You first. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Hey, Wiley Bulldog fans, if you want to keep up with school news, community news, sports news, or art news, check out Wiley Growl Magazine. Wiley Growl is the official magazine of the Wiley Independent School District, a full-color magazine highlighting all of the great accomplishments of Wiley students, and it keeps you up to date on what's happening in the district and in the community and features Wiley residents of all ages. For information on how to pick up your copy of Wiley Growl Magazine, go to WileyGrowl.com. It's great to be a Wiley Bulldog. Betty Rose's Little Brisket has gotten bigger. Two new locations for full-service dining, daily lunch specials, and a happy hour that begins daily at 4 p.m. with additional appetizers, plus live music twice a week on the Triple B porch at each location. The newest location, 3934 Cat Cloud Drive, even has a full bar. And the best food made from scratch is at Betty Rose's. Betty Rose's, 2588 East Lake Road, and now 3934 Cat Cloud Drive. Bob Catabavoli, the power behind your work. Over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. If you have a job to do, we have the right tool rental. If you have questions, we have your solution. Visit Bob Catabavoline today at 2257 South Treadaway. Active military, law enforcement, and first responders receive 10% off all equipment rentals. Bob Catabavoline, over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. Bob Catabavoline, the power behind your work. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And we're here on the campus again of Cooper High School. It's going to be a, going to be a home away from home at least for the next two years. And heck, you know it's going to be longer than just two years that Wiley and Cooper are going to be in the same district and. Again, every sport except football. Football, the one sport because of enrollment, because Cooper is actually about 800 more students than Wiley. We're talking your enrollment, your freshmen through seniors. That's a big difference, but it just means Wiley's one of the smallest 5As. Wiley's got about 1,200 students, 9 through 12th grade, and Cooper's still busting, uh, from what I understand, slightly over 2,000. I think they're just barely like 2,008. So again, think about that, 1,200 students versus 2,000, but no excuses, we're ready. And again, Wiley had won the first meeting. Now both, and both teams are just yelling. They're ready, as we are pretty much set up on the court. So you're going to like that. Normally, 
for volleyball, now for basketball. I love to be courtside for basketball. A lot of times in volleyball, I prefer I prefer the uh, bird's eye view, maybe the crow's nest to be up high. But uh, here at Cougar Gym, there wasn't a lot of power up high, being a power outlet. But they were certainly kind enough to set me up courtside. So we are uh, we're going to be right in the thick of the action, and the teams break the huddles. And that means it's almost time to serve this one up. A win for Wiley. They're three and four in district. They'll go to four and four, and they'll finish out right in third place and go as the three seed. A win for Cooper would drop Wiley to three and five and make Cooper also three and five as Cooper comes in at two and five. Their seven game record. Cooper is on my left. Wiley is on my right. Wiley's attack. They'll be hitting and serving their balls right to left. As we get it underway, are you ready, fans, for part two of the South Town Showdown in volleyball? Cooper will have the Dr. Pepper first serve. Cooper serves. It's purely Pierce purely Wiley has it. Going with a tip shot. That was Ginger Landman, but Cooper's Dean is there. Now Wiley has to dig out a Cooper attack, and the initial point still goes. Keaton Davis with a kill attempt, but it's dug out. Now the Coos. And it's down. First point for Cooper. It comes from one of their best hitters and a player to watch. And that's number 15, Jada Willis. So Willis with a kill for Cooper. And the game won. Our game one, the opening set is underway. We're going to play to 25, and it's the first of three games or three sets. So Wiley Spike is into the net, though, on that serve receive by Davis, but it means points for Cooper. 2-0 here in the opening moments of game one. Wiley receives Davis first up. Set by Miller. Back to Davis. It's down. And Wiley is on the board in a big way. Nice execution. Strong spike and kill from Keaton Davis. Two to one is our score, and Wiley will have its first serve. It's Madison Burden. Number 12, the serve is in play. Cooper's purely sets up, and we got a whistle and a double touch violation against Cooper, and that means it's Wiley's point, and it was called on their setter on that sequence. Number three, Pierce Bjorley. That's a cool name, but a weird name. B and then J, Bjorley. Here's Bjorley to set up Owen. Looks like she was setting up Willis, Jada Willis, but miscommunication as the volleyball did not find the hand, if you will, the hitting hand, so they didn't attack that time. It falls for a point Wiley. Another Wiley serve. Wiley's up for the first time tonight. The Coops going to the other Willis, Janika Willis, but Wiley Burden has the dig there. Now Janika, another spike, but Wiley got a block. However, Cooper comes back and keeps it alive. It's on Wiley's side. They set up. This is Lily Kate Doby. Doby Spike is dug out. The Coots put it back. Wiley has it on the right. Miller sets up Landman. A spike partially blocked onto the Coots side. Now they got a couple touches on it. Here's number three. It was from uh, number 12, Larkins, but Wiley, oh. They get a couple touches on it, but it is Larkins for Cooper, number 12, Gaz. Gaz Larkins with the point. We're tied at three. And Wiley receives the serve. First touch is Davis. A set. That's by Doby, actually. A bit off. But Wiley Davis puts it over. Still alive. Now it's on. There was a tip shot by Cooper, but Wiley there. Back on Cooper's side. And Wiley going to score, though, even though Cooper had a couple touches. Eventually, it was a nice tip. It looked like from Miller of Wiley. Number 11, Lexi Miller. It's Wiley four, Cooper three. Four to three, just underway in game one. I'll give you our game one sponsor right after this serve. Ginger Lem and a nice serve. Right to left, it's in play. Here's Larkin. It's down, though. Spike and kill for Cooper. Game one brought to us tonight by Edible Arrangements. Edible Arrangements open seven days a week at 4102 Buffalo Gap Road. That's the Crossroad Shopping Center at Buffalo Gap and the Winners Freeway. Check them out online. EdibleArrangements.com. Cooper was just serving. It was Garcia. She had a really good game in the first meeting, but that serve went into the net, and that means Wiley got a point. Now the Lady Dog will serve up by one, five, four. It's Davis, and Davis serving up an ace right there. Nice 
nicely done by Keith and Davis. Our company bringing you this game, Bulldogs live online. Got a scholarship fund. And here's Wiley to serve it up here. It's 6-4, and that one is out, though, by Davis. So after she got the ace, that one goes out. So Point Cooper at 6-5. Wiley is up. Our company has scholarship funds, though. We call it the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund. And we have many fine businesses that donate money to it. Here's an attack by Wiley Wimberly, but that is out. And it's Point Cooper. We're tied at six. But every ace, when Wiley got that ace, every ace gets a donation to that scholarship fund from our friends at Lawrence Hall. Lawrence Hall, the Chevy dealer, also our ace sponsor. Here's a spike by Wiley Stobie. Coop, the lady could get to it. Going to volley it back. Wiley has it. A free ball. And Christian is down with a kill. Point Wiley, 7-6. Very tight here in the opening set. Wiley will serve. Wiley Libero. That's number one. Pearson Sanders to serve. And the serve is in play. It's a good one. Cooper is off. Their third touch is just a volley. And a double touch. Double touch violation called by the official on Cooper. So even before the volley comes, a good serving there by Sanders. Here's another from Sanders is in play. The Cougs get a spike there from, and it's down from Roderick. Alexis Roderick wears jersey number four. So our score is back to a one-point game. Wiley eight, Cooper seven here in the opening set. A lot on the line in this district game, more than just bragging rights in the South Town showdown. Here's Wimberly, a spike for Wiley. It goes out, though. Out and a point for the Cougs which ties us at eight. Another serve for Cooper. It's going to be Garcia. Number two, Regina Garcia. And that serve actually goes into the net. We said there was a, another Garcia who played really well in the first meeting when Wiley won in five sets, Alexis Garcia. But Wiley got the point there on a service error. It's 9-8 Wiley. So again, back and forth we go. We have been tight. Largest lead so far has been two points. In the opening set, Cooper had a 2-0 lead. Wiley had a 6-4 lead. Here's Cooper receiving serve. Going with a tip shot. That's Garcia Bree Garcia. And that is down. Nice little tip. She wears jersey number 10. Says she's a sophomore. Bree Garcia tying it at 9. Wiley will receive the serve. It's third in. And then Miller and then a spike by it. Christian, but that got blocked and blocked for a point Cooper, Alexis Garcia with the block on the attack of Karis Christian. So Wiley now down a point at 10-9. Trying to tie it up here on this serve receive. It's Davis, first touch, Miller a set, tip shot, Landon, and that is down. Point Wiley, and we're tied up at 10 now here in game one. Good play from Wiley. One senior, only one senior this year for Wiley. So certainly a young team, but a young team that has matured throughout the season and has gotten pretty good. I like the brand of volleyball they play. We're tied. Cooper on the attack. It's Roderick again, and it's Dow. Same result. She's a senior. Senior outside hitter, number four, Alexis Roderick, and it puts Cooper back in front, 11 to 10. So no separation here in the edible arrangement. Game number one. Wiley trying to tie it. Hayes first touch. Miller a set spike. That was Keaton Davis. There was a dig by Bjorley. Now it's Willis, number 20, and Wiley going to dig that counter with a spike from Landman. There's. Cooper scrambling. Garcia got a touch. Here comes the third. It's Jada Willis. Nice dig, though. That was by Miller. This ball still goes. Now, Wiley attack up. Block, though. Block. For a point, Cooper. And Wiley finds itself down now by two. This is going to have been the largest lead for either side in game one. It's 12-10. Wiley is down. Receiving serve is Pearson Sanders, getting it over to Miller. She puts it over the net in a second touch, trying to trick Cooper, but they were not tricked. 
Now they have it. Willis got her attack block, but they reset for Willis. But a nice dig by Pearson Sanders. And it comes to Davis. And that is just out. It means it's out. And a point for Cooper. And now Wiley's down by three. Going to try to tighten it. It's 13-10 in game one. Wiley down. Keaton Davis first touch. A set by Lexi Miller. Here's Landman on a spike. I got partially blocked by Garcia. Out on Wiley's side. They tip it over. But there was number two, Regina Garcia, to dig it out. Now spike by Willis is down. Jada Willis makes it 14-10. Cooper, so they're on a run right now. It's five straight. Here's Wiley trying to counter. They get it to Burton, and she'll put an end to the run. Wiley needed it. A kill from number 12, Madison Burden, to make it 14-11. So Wiley needs to string some together here. That kill is going to get a donation, though, to the scholarship bus. Our kill donation comes from Borland Family Dentistry. That served by Burden as she had rotated to the back is into the net, though. But, yeah, donating money for every kill so the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund is Borland Family Dentistry. Wiley down by four again, not wanting to lose contact here, but that'll help. That serve by Willis is out, though. Was hit much too hard. It sailed past the baseline of the volleyball court, meaning it's out, and a point Wiley on the service error. Wiley's down 15-12. It's going to be Landman to serve, right to left. Cooper controls, setting up for Jada Willis, a spike, and it's going to be a kill. A kill for Jada Willis. Wiley down 16-12 in game one. Alexis Garcia will serve, and Wiley is way off. Here comes their third touch, though. Can they keep it alive? It's just a volley, but it keeps it alive. Cooper controls. Bjorley, a set. Spike by Alton. Not Alexis Garcia, that was Bree Garcia, number 10. That is a kill. Looks like some kids coming in early with some uh, costumes, some trick-or-treating up in here. We're way early, but I see that girl, and what is that Black Panther? Black Panther here, Wiley got a block on that, and going to get a, a point, a much-needed point. They were starting to lose contact. It was 17-12. Now it's 17-13, but again, Wiley kind of up against it as we're running out of points here in the opening set, going to 25. It's Davis to serve, and serves up an ace. Great Wiley by Keaton Davis. Great service there. There's another ace that gets a donation to the scholarship fund from Lawrence Hall, the Chevy dealer in Abilene. Here's another right-to-left serve in play. This time Cooper controls, setting up Larkin. Her spike is out. Point Wiley. So we said Wiley needed to string some together. They have here. They're not out of it. It was 17-12, but now it's 17-15. You're in game one. Wiley Davis serves again. Cooper. They have to hit it back in one, and Wiley cleans up the loose chain. Who cleaned that up? That was... That was Wimberly. Nice play by Wimberly. The loose change being Cooper, the player that received the serve her touch. She didn't mean to hit the volleyball all the way to Wiley's side, but she did, and Wiley just slammed it down immediately when it came their way. Here's a fight by Jada Willis. Wiley scrambles to it, digs it out. Now it's hit by Wimberly, but it is dug out by Cooper's D. Now Willis. And she gets it done. A kill for number 15, Jada Willis. Wiley had pulled to within one after going on a 4 nothing run. Now it's a two-point deficit. So Wiley, that was needed, though, as they do. They are back in this set. It's 18-16. Cooper. Here's Sanders for Wiley first touch. Seth Davis spikes. That was Doby, but it is dug out. Now Cooper on the attack, a tip shot. But there's Karis Christian to kick it out initially. Now Christian takes a third touch, a deep tip. But... Janika Willis runs it down. Now Wiley has it. It's on Wiley's side again. They set up Wimberly. Her spike is into the net. Tough. Point Cooper and Wiley down three. And timeout 
Timeout called by Wiley. Wiley wants to talk it over here in game one as they're down 19-16. We'll take a quick break as you're listening to Wiley Volleyball here in the South Town Showdown with Cooper. We're powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. It's on BulldogsLiveOnline.com. Since 1890, the folks you know and trust at Haskell National Bank have proudly provided the latest in banking convenience. At Haskell National, we make it a point to get to know you and provide you with the personalized service you deserve. Stop by and visit Haskell National Bank, Buffalo Gap Road at South 32nd and Abilene, or 601 North 1st in Haskell, celebrating 125 years of continuous service. Thank you. Member FDIC. You are listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now, back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. And we're back, and it's going to be... Uh... Cooper to serve, but widely received. Sanders first touch. Keaton Davis a set. Here it's Christian a spike. And it's going to be a point Wiley. Yeah, they say partially blocked. Getting, uh, at least I know there's uh, actually a Cooper fan listening to this broadcast, and I do apologize for mispronouncing a name. It's, it's, it's the Willis sisters, number 15, Jada Willis. But they also have number 20, and it's Jenica. I do apologize about the uh, mispronunciation, but the other Willis name is Jenica. Wiley, though, gets a point right there off a great serve by Sanders. Another one where Cooper, and I think it was number nine, Collier, when she took that first touch, it actually carried the volleyball hovering over Wiley's side of the net. That's pretty precarious. Wiley banked it down. Wiley down just one out of their timeout. This is Cooper on a two-hand tip. That was Roderick, but Wiley's there. Now Karis Christian, one-hand tip. Dug out by Jenica Willis. Now in the back row. And then Larkin took a spike and got a kill. Number 12, Jazz Larkin. It's 20-18. to 18. Cooper 20, Wiley 18 here in the Edible Arrangements game number one. Here's Lily New, first touch for Wiley. Now Seth Davis has a chip shot. Came from Karis Christian, but Cooper digs it out. Now Roderick, and it's out, though. That means point Wiley was taken by Alexis Roderick. Wiley pulls to within one, so very tight here. And we're going to 25, so we're getting to crunch time of the opening set. It's 20 to 19, Cooper by one, but Wiley serves. It's going to be Lexi Miller, a freshman, serving for Wiley in play. Cooper... Collier, Collier, the setter, tricked Wiley and got a point for Cooper. That's the one where the setter, and that was number nine, Kaylee Collier, takes the second touch in a setting motion but puts it over the net for a point Cooper. That's good play. Wiley needs the point. Here's Davis, first touch. Set Miller back to Davis, and her spike is down, and Wiley gets the point they need. 21-20 is the score. So nice and tight here between these two Abilene rivals. But Wiley is down. It's Cooper 21, Wiley 20. Wiley will serve. Riley Hayes is in play. Cooper setting up for Roderick. There's a block by Davis. Back on to Cooper's side. Now Garcia. Wiley partially blocked it. That was Alexis Garcia. Now Wiley has it. Chip shot Davis. Garcia gets a touch. But Wiley going to score. Off the tip shot from number nine, Keaton Davis, just a short tip. Alexis Garcia got just one touch on it, but it was great placement by Keaton Davis. We're tied at 21. Wiley just got that point, tied in it up. And a serve by Hayes. Oh, that's out. Not what you wanted. A free point for the Lady Cougs. As Wiley's serve goes out, service error, point Cooper. It's Cooper 22, Wiley 21. We're going to 25, but you got to win by two. Here's Davis' first touch for Wiley. Miller back to Davis. There's their tip shot, her little tip. This time, Jenica Willis gets to it, but then a strike by Garcia. Alexis Garcia is not in, though. It's out, meaning point Wiley, and Wiley ties it with that spike that goes out, and Wiley will serve. We're tied at 22. Oh, again, a service error. The last time Wiley served it too long, it went out. That time, Madison Burden served it right into the net. It was tough because Cooper gets a free point, and they lead 23-22. Wiley got it tight. 
Here, Wiley receives. Hey, and Wiley kind of mishit this, but they do find Davis, and she bails them out. Wow. Because Wiley was off, but Keaton Davis dropped in a bomb from the back row. Yeah, a spike from the back row on a third touch by Keaton Davis ties it at 23. The next team to score gets the first game point opportunity of game one. Wiley will serve. Ginger Landman, right? It's an ace! An ace by Landman. And a timeout by Cooper. Let's keep it right here. The ace puts Wiley to the game point. It's Wiley 24, Cooper 23, and a timeout on the floor again called by the Lady Coops and their head coach, Nora Campbell. But it will be Wiley serving with a chance to score the next point and win by the minimum because you're going to 25. Got to win by two. Wiley can win this with one more point at 25-23. It would be really big because there's a lot of Cooper students, especially here, and Wiley would love to take the first set naturally and put their opponent playing from behind. So... This was big because Wiley has battled back a little bit, down by as much as five in this set, and now a one-point lead and a game point. This is a Dr. Pepper game point for the Wiley Lady Fox. We're out of the timeout. Ginger Landman serves number 14 right to left in play. Cooper, they struggle with it, and Wiley gets it. It wasn't an ace, but it still was great by Landman. It came to the Cooper Libero. That's number 18, Hannah Turner. And Turner's touch, she had it, but the touch it was a tough serve by Landman, and it caused the touch to go wild. Cooper tried to run after it, but they couldn't keep the rally going, could not even hit the uh, volleyball over in three hits because the, uh, the touch went wild because it was a great serve by Landman. So Landman Closes out Cooper. Think about that one. It was 23 all. Landman had to serve. Serves up an ace to put Wiley on a game point. And there's another great serve that causes Cooper to miss it and not even return. And Wiley takes game one by the minimum 25 23. We'll take a break and come back for game two. This by no means is over, but Wiley does lead the match. It was good. They took the opening set. They lead one game to none. We'll be back with more Wiley volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM. When it comes to finding the right vehicle for you, there's no better place than right here at Lawrence Hall and Abilene. For over 26 years, Lawrence Hall and Abilene has been the place to find the best from Chevy, Buick, and GMC. And that's still true today. Great vehicles and great service. We're your West Texas source for all your vehicle needs. So the next time you need a new car, truck, or SUV, come see us here at Lawrence Hall and Abilene today. Noted Abilene's best new car dealer for over 20 years. By you, our customer. The Wiley All Sports Booster Club is a proud supporter of Bulldogs Live Online and their broadcasts of Wiley Sports and exists to support all Wiley Sports. Reason number two why you should become a member of the Wiley Booster Club. Did you know the Booster Club gives $15,000 in college scholarships every year? The further education of Wiley athletes is impacted annually by the work of the Booster Club. This type of support is impossible without the support of Wiley fans like you. Be a part of this by joining the Wiley All Sports Booster Club today. For more info, check our website, Abilene Wiley Bulldog. Were you born in a barn? You're letting all the AC out. A 30-minute shower? Come on. It's a full-time job following you kids around turning off lights. Do you have to leave the fridge door open the whole time you're in the kitchen? Are you passing on good energy-saving habits? Save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. A message from your hometown co-op. It's Taylor Electric Cooperative in Merkel. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. And it's time for the second set or game number two. The teams have switched sides of the net. Wiley is now on my left. Cooper is on my right, so Wiley's attack. They'll be hitting and serving their balls left to right here in this second set. They kind of stole one, in, in all honesty, stealing game one because they were down one point, 17-12. But Wiley got it close and then stole it, 25-23. So Wiley leads 1-0. It's going to be Riley Hayes for the Lady Dogs. She's going to serve it up. 
Riley's wearing it's white. It's, they they kind of wear whites at home, but they chose to wear whites. And Cooper wearing the blues, and there's an ace to start for Wiley. Riley Hayes continues the uh, the little stretch here now. Good serving by Wiley. Being that Ginger Landman kind of scored the last two points of game one off the serve, and now an ace by Hayes. Cooper controls this going to Alexis Garcia, and she'll spike it down. That is a kill for number one, Alexis Garcia. So game two is tied. We're just underway. One all. Wiley won game one, 25-23. It's Jenica Willis, number 20 to serve for Cooper, right to left. Wiley has it. Miller sets up Keaton Davis, who drops the bomb, but the Cooper libero, Turner, digs it out. Now Willis takes a spike, and that is down. Wiley not ready for that. That came from the back row by the server who's about to serve again, Jenica Willis. She's serving right here. Here's Wiley. Miller setting up Burton. She'll do a one-hander. There's a diving dig by Purely. And then look like Garcia eventually. Alexis Garcia. So Cooper starting fast here, but it's just uh, very early. It's 3-1. Wiley down 3-1 in the second set. Here's Davis, first touch. Gets it over to Miller, who sets it back to Davis. And that time, Keaton Davis not dropping a spike, but dropping in a little tip shot. Number nine, always playing well for Wiley. Number nine, the junior, Keaton Davis. It's Cooper three, Wiley two in game two. And a serve by Madison Burden into the net. And she kind of shakes her head a little bit as she comes off, saying, I don't know about that. She feels like they're good, but she's now hit a couple into the net on her last two serve attempts. Wiley receiving, getting it to Landman. Here's her spike. That's a dig by Pierce Bjorley of Cooper. Then Daz Larkin's a spike. Nice dig by Riley Hayes to keep it alive. Now Keaton Davis drops one down. A spike and kill for Wiley's Keaton Davis to make it a 4-3 game. We want to bring in our Game 2 sponsor. Game 2 brought to you tonight by Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. They're at 2434 Industrial Boulevard. Very close to where we are. Cooper High School kind of industrial and fails. Here's Cooper receiving serve. Larkin's a spike, but Ginger Landman digs it out on the back row for Wiley. Now Avery Wimberly a kill attempt. There's a dig by Cooper's Libero Turner. But then... Cooper unable to keep their attack going. A spike into the net gives Wiley a point to tie it up for a piece. Here comes another serve from Ginger Landman in a 4-4 game. Left to right it goes. It's in play. And Cooper's Bjorley tries to trick Wiley with a second touch over the net. Wiley is there this time. And then a whistle. And Cooper got called for a net violation when Wiley was attacking. A Cooper player touches the net, I think number 10, Bree Garcia, point Wiley, and Wiley is up 5-4. Another serve by Landon. Man, her serves are on point tonight. They're tying up the coup, but there's Jenica Willis again from the back row. She dropped in a spike and kill from the back. Tying it at five. Appling Battery and Golf Cars, they got batteries for your car or truck, that's traditional batteries, but also batteries for a tractor or lawnmower, motorcycle batteries, ATV batteries, batteries for a golf car or an electric wheelchair. Again, Abilene Battery and Golf Cars, our Game 2 sponsor, 2434 Industrial Boulevard. Wiley receives serve. It's Wimberly down the line, but it's out. And meaning Point Cooper... Wiley had a 5-4 lead, but is now down 6-5 in game two. Wiley took a hard-fought game one, though. There's Davis putting it over the net, and it's down. The point for Wiley. She put it over on the second touch. So we've seen now both teams trying to play a little trickery, having their setters put the volleyball over on the second touch in a setting motion. Keaton Davis does it all for Wiley if you're kind of new to Wiley side of things. She'll fight, she'll dig, she'll set. There's Cooper. They controlled the serve, but they're called for a double touch violation. They got it on their setter that time for an illegal set, kind of a double touch set. That was Kaylee Collier getting called. Now Wiley serves and serves it out. 
unfortunately. Wiley has kind of been hit or miss some on the service today. They've really done well at times with aces and tying up the coots, but giving away too many free points, in my opinion, as well, with service errors. That's a free point for the coots. We're tied at seven. Wiley setting up for Karis Christian. She got stuffed. Here's Wiley trying to get it over, though. It was blocked back on the Wiley side. They do get it over. Cooper has it on the right. Going to number five. That's the first time I've called her name. That's Kim. But that is a spike and kill for number five of Cooper, Kiana Kemp. Wiley down a point. The serif by Cooper's number eight. That's Molly Davis, but that is out. Too long. Wiley will take a free point on a service error. We're tied at eight. The game two playing out kind of like game one is early. Early it was tied. And now Wiley serves it into the net. What is going on? That was Pearson Sanders. So Wiley has had back-to-back -back service errors sandwiched around a Cooper service error. Is Cooper, though, up? Wiley receives the serve. Lily New first touch set Davis tight. Wimberly is blocked, but they hang with it and put it over the net. Now Cooper, here comes their third touch. It's just going to be a volley. Wiley has a free ball. Here's Keaton Davis to set it. Madison Burden to spike, but it's dug out by Turner. Cooper's libero. And then it's Alexis Garcia. And a spike and kill is down. It goes Cooper's way. We're in game two. Cooper 10, Wiley 8. Cooper will serve. It's Burden, first touch. And a set by Keaton Davis, a spike from Karis Christian, but Turner, the libero, digs it for Cooper. And then a spike by, that was Kemp again, but this time it's out, meaning point Wiley. So Wiley pulls back to within one, and they will serve. We're in the Abilene Battery and Golf Cars game number two. Wiley took uh, an extremely close game one. So Wiley leads 1-0 as we play in game two. Down 10-9, though, and Wiley serves it up. Cooper setting up Jenica Willis. Nice dig, though, by the libero. Sanders digs out that kill attempt. Now Cooper has it again. Going to Kemp. Kemp a tip shot, but Karis Christian is there. Now a tip shot. Landman diving dig by Willis, and it keeps it alive. And then the third touch is over the net. Wiley has it. Lexi Miller two-hand tip. Cooper batted it up in the air by Davis. Now she spikes it. That's Molly Davis, but Wiley takes it. This is a one point. Tip shot, Latman. And unfortunately, the tip goes out. Not in, but out. Point Cooper off a long rally. Cooper 11, Wiley 9 in game two. Cougar Gym is pretty full tonight. I mean, there's still a few seats left, but it's a great crowd for the South Town Showdown. That's Karis Christian getting Wiley a point there. As Wiley executes on the serve received there, they receive serve. They go one, two, three. They go bump, set, spike, and kill by Karis Christian. That kill is going to get a donation to the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund from Portland Family Dentistry. Riley Hayes, a really good serve. Cooper does put it over the net. Now Wiley has it sitting up Davis. And Turner, Turner's libero digs it. But now Wiley gets a piece of the Cooper attack. And they block it down for a point Wiley. Looks like Madison Burden, one of Wiley's better net blockers, blocked that. That block gets a donation to the scholarship fund from our block sponsor, Abilene Pediatric Hill. Abilene Pediatric Dental Associates, and now we bring in our ace sponsor as Riley Hayes serves up an ace, and we just donated again to the scholarship fund, the ace donation from Lawrence Hall. So everything going Riley's way right now, and another ace by Riley Hayes. And they've dug out of a small deficit and forced Cooper to take a timeout. Timeout Cooper. Riley is up 13-11 on back-to-back -back aces from Riley Hayes. We're in game two. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to Wiley Volleyball, presented by Dr. Pepper on 1280 KXLI. 
Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Gelling is a proud sponsor of Wiley Athletics. Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Gelling will save you time and money with the latest technology, including concrete cutting, live wire and rebar detection, structural analysis in real time, precision wall cutting, and core gelling. From standard concrete to highly abrasive concrete, Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Gelling, 325-788-7777. Or go to maverickzawcutting.com. Go Bulldogs! Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. We're back. <laughs> That's actually the beat Wiley champ. We caught it on at the end. Almost another ace by Hayes. Cooper has to hit it back in one. Can Wiley capitalize? They can. They can. Madison Burden, a spike and kill. Again, benefiting from Riley Hayes, good serving. That time, Cooper had to hit the serve back in one. You know they didn't want to do that. Another serve by Hayes. Cooper controls better. Going to Jenica Willis. It's down. So Cooper finally ends what was a 5 nothing run. Very nice for the Lady Dogs. But a point off the kill from Jenica Willis. It's Wiley 14, Cooper 12, so certainly a tight game. Wiley receives the serve. They're setting up for Ginger Landman. She takes a two-hand tip shot. Now Cooper, oh! They trick Wiley again. Their setter this time, number three, Pierce Bjorley. That's that tricky second touch. Just touch two, and in the setting motion, you don't expect it to come over the net, but it does. It's 14-13, Wiley. Here's Wiley receiving another serve, setting up for Davis. She is going cross-court with that, and it's down. It's a point for Wiley, who was nice diagonal kill, a spike and kill for Keaton Davis. Wiley 15, Cooper 13. In game two, Wiley has won game one. Here's Cooper setting up for Larkin. One hand tip, but Wiley dug it out. Back on Cooper's side, their volley is over the net. And Wiley tried to block one. Now it's on Wiley's side, diving dig by Miller. And it's back on Cooper's side, and the whistle blows. A double touch violation on Cooper. It was back on their side, but an illegal set. They called it on Bjorley. Wiley now goes up by three. Here's Burden. Serve over the net. Cooper going to Larkin. Over on Wiley's side, there's a tip shot. Miller, but it... Oh, she went with a deep one-hand tip, but it was actually too deep from Lexi Miller. It goes out. Point Cooper. It was kind of a swing point. Wiley was trying to maybe pull away, but now it's back to 16-14. Here's Wiley receiving, getting it to Doby. Doby Spike is dug out. Now Cooper. They can only volley. And it's on Wiley's side. Here's Miller getting it over to Landman. Her spike dug out by Cooper's Pierce Bjorley. Now Larkin. A spike, but they're paid to dig it. And then putting it over the killer. But then it comes back to Cooper. They get a spike and kill with number 10, Bree Garcia. So Wiley's three-point lead is down to one. It's Wiley 16, Cooper 15. Here's Wiley setting up their attack. Doby, she got partially blocked. She spikes again. It's down. Doby hangs with it. The freshman, number five, Lily Kate Doby. Lily Kate had her initial spike stuffed in her face, but the stuff pushed the volleyball straight up in the air, and, and the freshman had very fast legs, jumped up again quickly and spiked it down after getting blocked on the first. Wiley's up two. Cooper receives. Going with a tip shot from Jada Willis. And Wiley scrambles. Can they get it? keep it alive? They can. Landman put it over. Cooper has it, going to Larkin, but down. Big crowd, love it here. Ton of fans. Cooper does have Wiley outnumbered, but a good amount of purple is in the house. Wiley 17, Cooper 16 here in game two. After Wiley won game one by the slimmest of margins, the minimum 25-23. As you do have to win by two. Here's Wiley trying to... Had a one-point lead. Oh, called. Double touch violation. Wiley got called. 
Riley center on that play. Keaton Davis got called for the illegal set or double touch violation. We're tied now, and Wiley takes. Oh, no, they don't. And Wiley receives serve, and they're a bit off. Maybe they should have taken timeout. Sanders, though, the libero tips it over. Now Cooper has some problems with it, and they're not going to get it. I mean, they get a couple touches, but can't keep the rally going. you got to give credit to Wiley's libero just taking a kind of a third touch, get me over touch, but it wasn't a volley. I love that. Don't do the underhand volley. She did a kind of a one-hand push tip of the volleyball, did Wiley's libero. Now Wiley serves. Cooper has to hit it back in one. Can Wiley capitalize? No, not this time. It was a spike by Davis, but a dig by Turner, those Cooper libero, but Wiley has it again. And it's Christian a spike, but a dig by Cooper's libero, Hannah Turner. Now it's Kiana Kemp. But Dobie got a block on it. It's on Wiley's side. Wimberly a spike. It is out. Oh, out. Point Cooper. We're tied up again. 18. 18. 18 here in game two. Wiley, if they could get this second set, would go up two games to none on their Southtown rival. But Cooper almost got an ace. Wow. Sanders did good just to get to that. Wiley does put it over just a volley. Cooper has it. It's Willis. And it's down, which Willis is it? Number 20, Jenica. And Wiley does call timeout here. Timeout for Wiley. And let's take it. It's Cooper now up 19 18 the score. And we're in game two. You're listening to Wiley Volleyball. It's presented by Dr. Pepper on 1280 AM. You'll feel the difference when you have your AC unit serviced by ACS Heating and Air. ACS Heating and Air is family-owned and operated. ACS provides service, preventative maintenance, and system replacement for commercial and residential. ACS Heating and Air also provides free estimate. ACS Heating and Air hope very much to earn your business, but their mission? To earn your trust. And don't forget to ask about the Comfort Care Program. Call 325-690-0998. You are listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. Here we go. Out of the timeout. There's a chant going on by Cooper. Not not very nice. I'll not repeat it. There wasn't no vulgarity, but still poking fun at Wiley. Now Wiley, though, out of the timeout, gets it to Doby and a spike and chill. So Wiley calls the timeout when they're down. Cooper serves it out of the timeout. Wiley goes one, two, three, bump, set, spike. The kill from Lily Kate Doby ties it at 19. Now Wiley serves. Pearson Sanders wearing that libero jersey. Great serve there. Cooper does put it over. Wiley has it on the left, though. Davis, a set, a spike. Wimberly down. Point Wiley. Spike and kill for the sophomore. Again, this is a young Wiley team. Number two, the sophomore, Avery Wimberly. A kill and a donation to the scholarship fund from our kill sponsor, Portland Family Ministry. Now an ace. An ace for Wiley. Timeout. Hooper. Wiley on a 3 nothing run. Let's hold it right here. 19-18, Cooper until Wiley calls T.O. Scores three straight, including the last eight. 21-19-2. Uh, Wiley over the two. Wiley 21, Cooper 19 in game two. Forcing Cooper to call a timeout. Again, we want to thank our game two sponsor. It's Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. Batteries for your car or truck, batteries for a tractor or lawnmower. They got batteries for your motorcycle or ATV, and also batteries for a golf car or electric wheelchair at 2434 Industrial Boulevard. Our game two sponsor, Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. Out of this timeout, it will be Wiley serving after the eight by Pearson Sanders. Her libero jersey is black, a black libero jersey. The rest of Wiley wearing white. We're going to serve right now. The Lady Dogs up 21-19 in game two. Left to right it goes. Oh, it's out. Oh, it's out. And that means three points. You just hate it. Three points for Cooper. They got one. It's 21-20. Cooper will serve their libero. That's Hannah Turner. 
It goes right to left. Wiley, Lily, new first touch. Davis effect. Burden got blocked. It's getting loud, but Burden got blocked for a point. Cooper, so Wiley was up two, but Coons, the Lady Coons have scored the last two. Wiley, 21. Cooper, 21. 21 apiece. Wiley received. Madison Burden, set by Davis. Spike by Karis Christian. Cooper, good get to it. It's on Wiley's side. This is Wimberly down the line, but Turner, the libero, digs it out. Now Kemp, that's out. That's out. Point Wiley. Kiana Kemp took the spike, but it goes long. Wiley gets the point, and in game two, it's Wiley 22, Cooper 21. What a rivalry. This has already become hashtag Southtown Showdown. Wiley third. Left to right it goes. It's a good one. It ties up Cooper. Here's their third touch. Just a volley. Wiley has it. Miller sets up Burden. And oh, on Wiley, Burden, the spike was not quite clean. It was going to fall, but it was ruled that the uh, volleyball was kind of trapped up against her hand, that it was not kind of a truly clean touch. Point Cooper. On the violation, we're tied at 22. Wiley receives the serve. Burden with the pass over to the center. Miller, she sets up for Karis Christian to spike, but it's dug out. Now Willis, Jimica Willis, but Wiley Davis gets to it. Now it's on the Wiley side, and then it was back on Cooper's side now, and it's a spike into the net. And a point, Wiley. Cooper spikes it into the net. It was Millis who kind of got a block of a Wiley attack that kept Wiley actually in it because Wiley was kind of up against it, although now they're getting an appeal. They're at least going to appeal. They have put up Wiley's point right now on the scoreboard. It says 23-22. But now the officials, the two main officials, that's the one standing on the podium, and the one on the floor getting together. And yeah, it was blocked. It was blocked. And it's a point Wiley. The Wiley 23, Cooper 22. And Wiley will serve. No game point yet. But should Wiley get this point, they will have a game point. Riley Hayes, left to right service. Cooper's Garcia first touch, set purely. And then Willis, who can only volley. Wiley has a free ball. Miller sets up for Landman. One hander. One hand chips down. It was a volley, and Wiley capitalized. 24 22. Wiley, meaning they have a Dr. Pepper game point. This is a game point. It's third by Hayes. And Wiley gets it at ace. An ace for the Lady Dogs, and they take game two on the ace. By Hayes, what a, what a great match so far. But the Lady Dogs, 25-22 in game two. So they've won game one, 25-23. Take game two, 25-22. What else? What else do we have? we got to go to three, though, for sure. Could Wiley sweep their South Town rivals? They're going to try to take this in straight set and clinch. That number three seed, I don't I think this could be far from over, though, but Wiley, a couple of nail biters, but they lead two games to none, and we're going to game three. We'll take some breaks. Come back for it. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldogs Volleyball. We are powered by Taylor Electric Cooperative. It's on Bulldog Live online.com. Ladies and gentlemen, meet John. John is a middle-class guy. Hello. John likes his sports talk. John likes his news talk. John likes rock and roll. That's right. John reads the sports section and the business section. John likes the game of billiards. John likes eight ball and nine ball and those fancy trick shots. John has plenty of room at his house for a pool table and maybe a game table and maybe some game room chairs and maybe a, dare I say it, yes, maybe even a bar. And right over there, John could put shuffleboard or air hockey or foosball. John will decide when he goes to Abilene Billiard Connection. Then John's wife will come in and decide what color and style. As long as John gets his billiard table, he doesn't give a rat's patootie. Really, a man's home is his castle. And in John's castle, there will be a game room. 
Abilene Billiard Connection is at 2950 North First, so John and Mrs. John can completely outfit their castle's game room at really good prices from a local concern. Now that John is getting his game room, here's what John has to say. hoo That's Abilene Billiard Connection at 2950 North First. Riley School District has remained an athletic and academic powerhouse by dedicating itself to hard work, determination, and creativity. In much the same way, Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union has remained a reliable source of great service and products since we were founded in 1950. Our five-star rated mobile apps let you conduct banking at your convenience whenever and wherever you choose. So if you live or work in Taylor County, you're one of us. Join ATFCU and experience the team spirit that's kept us going for 65 years. But more importantly, for this game, go dogs! Dr. Pepper presents recording artists Mac Lamore and Ryan Lewis. When you're growing up, the world tells you to be just like everyone else. But how boring would that be? When I started writing music, I found the best songs I ever wrote or when I was being completely honest. That's why Ryan and I decided to stay independent. We turned down major label deals because we wanted every single thing that had our name on it to be authentically us. The world needs more one-of-a-kind people. Dr. Pepper, always one-of-a-kind. Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And it's almost time for game three. We've had a, such a great atmosphere tonight and some really fine volleyball between the Southtown rivals. Hashtag Southtown Showdown. And here for the third set. Our sponsor is Lawrence Hall. Lawrence Hall bringing us game number three. They offer the best vehicles from Chevy, GMC, Volkswagen, Lincoln, and Mazda, and the best customer service at Lawrence Hall. Teams are back on the sides they started the match on. That is the right side for Wiley. Cooper on my left, so Wiley's attack here in game three will be hitting and serving their balls right to left. Cooper will start with the serve. It's Cooper that is facing, though, an elimination set. Here in game three, Wiley up two games to none. Here Wiley receives, goes to Beth Davis. The spike down the line is dug out by Cooper's Pierce Bjorley. Now Wiley has again on the right side. Miller going to set, chip shot, Ginger Landman. Cooper's libero Turner has it. Now back again on Wiley's side. Davis, the spike. And that is down. Number nine, Keaton Davis has had a great match tonight in the South Down Showdown. Gets a kill to start. Game number three. One nothing. The Lady Dogs. Madison Burton will serve. And here it goes right to left here in game three. And it's in play. Cooper is a fake by Garcia. And then Jenica Willis spiked it. But Wiley dug it out and countered with Lexi Miller. Nice play by the freshman, number 11, Lexi Miller. Not a spike, but just taking a deep two-hand tip, and Wiley goes up 2 nothing in game three, and then Burton serves it into the net. She has struggled with her serve for the most part, and every now and then tonight have mixed in just a timely ace, but a lot of service errors as well, but she'll head to the bench and get ready to come back in and block some shots. Here's Wiley receiving serve, getting it to Doby on a third touch. There's the other freshman, two freshmen this year, for Wiley, that was Lily Kate. Lily Kate Doby. A spike and kill. Wiley is up 3 1. It's going to be Ginger Landman. She served great tonight. Here's one, and oh, just out. That was not out by more than maybe a couple inches. The line judge, the back judge, calls it out. Point Cooper, just underway in game three. Wiley is with a chance to sweep. Going to be tough, though. I suspect Cooper play with that desperation. Wiley tried to fight, but Cooper dug it out. Now Jada Willis. And it's down. The spike and kill for Jada Willis. She's a senior on this team. Three all. And an eight for Cooper. Who was doing the serving there? Number one, Alexis Garcia gets an ace. With the Lady Coos, they go up by a point. Four to three. Garcia serves again. This is Lily New first touch of set by Davis. Here's a spike by Wimberly, but it's dug out. Now Larkins takes the kill attempt. Diving dig for Wiley. It was Lily New to dig it out. 
Now back on the coop side. They're setting up Larkin. Spike. New with a dig again on the back row. Now Wimberly got blocked. And blocked for a point. Cooper. Looked like Jada Willis. With a block of Wiley's Avery Wimberly. Cooper's up by two. Five. Three. In game three. Wiley receives Sanders, first touch, that's Wiley's libero, then a set, Keith Davis, tip shot, that was Doby. Now we got a, a double touch violation after Cooper had it, meaning that's going to be a point Wiley. The whistle blows, they get Cooper's setter there with the illegal set, that Pierce Bjorley. So Wiley is down, but now just 5-4. Davis with a serve, and the Cooper there. What do we got? And I think they just gave Wiley a point here for a net violation Cooper, but now the officials, again, getting better. I wasn't sure about that one, but they did give Wiley the point. Cooper was on the attack. And then the whistle blew. They're talking things over right now, are the officials. Again, our game three. Thank you so much, Lauren Hall. Laurenthal, the best vehicles from Chevy, GMC, Volkswagen, Lincoln, and Mazda. And the best customer service at Laurenthal. There's another little kid dressed up in a costume. Something was going on tonight. Had, these are tiny, tiny little kids, but I've got Black Panther in the house tonight. Doing some